Hey YouTube, uh, I just finished uh, another three piece takedown. Probably pulled about 45 pounds. It's a recurve and I did a center shot handle on it. I'm going to be starting the finish work on it. Uh, I'm going to do a, a light brown camouflage on it. And one thing I want to show you, last one I did uh, the connector pieces I I expanded it by putting a three quarter inch piece inside this because um, the one and a quarter connector is a little bit too big. And so this time I actually glued a piece here and I might I might actually you know put some glue around it or maybe some putty just to blend that piece in a little bit. But um, I marked two two right here. Just makes a tighter fit so there's no wiggle room. I'll show you this thing strung up a, uh, a little later, but right now I'm going to uh, show you what I do to paint uh, some of my bows. I'm um, going to start off with a light brown coat. I'm going to basically hit the entire bow and then give it a little green accent to it just lightly hit it here and there with some a hunter green and I will show you what that looks like in just a minute alright so this is the first layer of my camo bow I did you know paint it all brown and then hit it with some green here and there and you know just did it real quick doesn't have to look pretty. All my techniques are real simple. Doesn't take any skill whatsoever. Uh, when this dries fairly well to the touch, I'll just rip random shapes and pieces of tape and place them all over the bow. And then once that is done, I will lightly, just lightly mist the whole thing with a a dark brown. I believe the paint's called an espresso brown. And uh, well, I will show you just before I hit it with that brown what the tape looks like, and you know, I'll let you see what the, the rest of the process looks like then. Here we go. I place some random pieces of tape. I just tore them all in even shapes, and you know, if you wanted it a nice smooth, you you can use scissors. You know, and cut it, but I just I like to tear it. Um, I got let's see, here's my paint. Em. I use satin espresso, it's a dark brown. I'm basically just gonna stay back pretty far and give it a good mist. Hopefully my daughter's bike won't end up brown. She's just a light coat. You can tell the difference between that and when I flipped around to the other side. It's got that light brown. Alright, so I'll let that dry a little bit and the next step will be to peel the tape off, don't throw it away because then I will 
reposition it back on the bow in different spots and then hit it again with the light brown and the green that I used on the first coat and I mean you could take the tape off now and it will probably look still pretty cool but by repositioning the tape and hitting it with the first two colors the light brown and the green you're gonna have several different layers of colors uh, that's what I did in my first camo bow I just used uh, used some different colors but um that will be the next step. Now just to show you what it looks like, um, first layer, I peeled the tape off. And you can you know, see a little bit of green in there. Well, here's all my tape. I'm just going to, I still got it on this limb. I'm going to put it all back on there in different spots, crisscross it and then I will hit it with uh, light brown and a little bit of the green too and we'll see what that looks like. Alright, so the paint has been removed and uh, here's my here's my light brown nutmeg paint. I'm gonna hit it just real light. I still want some you know the other color to show through on spots. And I do want I want the all the colors to really show through so you're really just misting it. That's really it. You know, so you still see the other layers on there. I'll hit it with trying to do the same thing with the green. Where's my green? Just a little bit lighter because just a few random spots. There we go, and I'll turn it around, do the same thing. Um, you could do this with any colors that you that you choose. Um, I'm doing three colors. I'm just Sure, you could do more colors than this three, and but uh, once I flip it over, I'll do the other side, and then I will build all the tape off, and you'll see the finished product. It'll pretty much be done. I'll probably still put some clear coat on it, but and then that will be it. All right, this is the bow with all the tape taken off. You got just different colors, different patches. I'll just wrap the handle. Um, it basically, just like my last one, this one uh, came out just lighter, a lighter shade of brown. But um, that came out. I'll let it, you know, put some clear coat on it. Let it cure for a couple days, and um, then I will probably try to shoot it for you. And another thing I wanted to show you guys was, this someone asked me if I'd be willing to make them like an art PVC archery release, something like Nick's. I made this kind of several months ago. Uh, it, then it was just a piece of PVC, and uh, how it works is, well, let me hold it right first, there's a little hook right here, a little hole where you hook the string onto, and you, you pull it back like that, and when you're ready to fire, you basically just point that finger, and the whole thing will swivel on your finger and let go of the string. Now, what I didn't like about it was it was a little bit uncomfortable to pull back, but well, not too much more comfortable than just pulling on the string with your fingers. 
So my idea was to put some putty on it, you know, and sand it a little bit like that. This one was just done real quickly. I could make it look a lot nicer. I was just trying to see what it felt like. But it does feel very comfortable to pull back like that. Um, I still do not really like this kind of release. It's just, it feels comfortable to pull back. I fixed that problem, but I just, I'm not comfortable with, you know, how you actually release or fire the bow. But it's, I am happy with the way this came out um, otherwise, but I will, myself, I like shooting either with fingers or a caliper release. Uh, the one that's got like a little trigger on it that you wrap around your wrist. But, um,. I don't know, that, that was, uh, this was definitely a lot more comfortable once you thickened, thickened it up a little bit with some putty. I don't know, tell, tell me what you guys think of this. Uh, it's definitely an improvement of just making it out of just strictly PVC. But, um, and there's the bow. Thanks for watching.